prison, done in 1641. She was a young girl martyred during the last major martyring of Christians under Diocletian at the very end of the third, very beginning of the fourth century. They put wood under her. The wood wouldn't take fire, so they simply beheaded her. And St. Agnes, because she was only 13 at the time, and the martyrdom came about out of her refusal to marry a pagan because she had already embraced the church, there was a pun with her name that Agnes in Latin is associated with Agnus, Lamb, the Lamb of God. But in fact, her name Agnes comes from the Greek Agne, meaning pure. And so the pure Lamb is the association we get with her. And the very Rembrandt-like gold that envelops her in this marvelous painting by Ribera gives her a very otherworldly, a very soccer-focused sensibility. So enwrapped is she in another reality that she's not even aware of what we can see, which is of this little puto, this little angel that is wrapping a garment around her to protect her chastity against the intentions to violate her for her Christianity. Bartolomé Esteban Murillo, 